welcome back to my YouTube channel. That's you and me, and this is Jasmine again with a brand new video. Today I'm gonna give you a few makeup hacks. I wanna share it with you uh, because I use them and they are like really helpful. Okay, so let's get started with the video, guys. So first I'm gonna show you a really easy hack. When you shampoo your hair, your shampoo fragrance doesn't stay for long, and you want your hair to smell really good. Okay, so what you can do is you can take a hair brush whatever brush you use is okay and then take any perfume of your choice and whichever fragrance you like and then just spray and then just spray it on your brush and then comb your hair and your hair smells like so good for whole day long yes and it works and i would recommend this and it does wonders okay so this was a really easy hack let's move on to the next one so the next beauty hack is whenever you apply foundation with your beauty blenders and if you're using these beauty blenders what you need to do is you need to damp this beauty blender in the water and then just squeeze out the extra water so this helps your foundation look moist and this makes your beauty blender move on your skin really easily you don't have to struggle with the dry blenders with because sometimes the foundation is really dry okay and it can give a cakey look on your skin so when you damp this in the water and you uh, wet your deep uh, beauty blender so it really gives a nice effect on your skin and it's easy to blend as well so the next tip is when you're applying your eyeshadow and you want a really beautiful wing on your eyeshadow what you can do is uh, I'm sure everybody has a cello tape at home here I have a fancy tape <laughs> So what you can do is just take a small piece of this and what you can do is just apply, just stick it here below waterline and then just stick it something like this and then you work with your brush to apply your eyeshadow so that you get a nice wing and then make sure this does not go really under your eyebrow, your eyebrows where it's ending okay. So then work with this and then you take off and then you can see uh, it really gives a nice effect and a nice long wing. Uh, let's move on to the next tip. So the next tip is here I have a L'Oreal eyeshadow which looks dark but it isn't dark. It is like really very light okay. It looks dark but it's really light so uh, let me show you. So when I apply it on my hand you can see I'm just rubbing it so many times and it's like really dark. So now the actual tip is what you do is you take your fix spray which is a lifesaver guys. So what you can do is you just spray your brush with this mess with the sprick with the fix spray and then you take your eyeshadow and then I'm just going to apply it here. You see just one just one stroke is so powerful and it's so dark okay and then if i'm going to apply it again you see it's like really dark and this really works on your eyeshadows which are like a bit old and which are like really light in shade okay so you can use this tip and it's really helpful so let's move on to the next tip so the next tip is when you apply your foundation uh, it's a bit dry and it does not moist your skin okay it your skin looks really uh, what you can say very uh, dry sometimes so what you can do is an uh, easy tip is uh, when you put your foundation on your mixing plate or your hand what you can do is you use either a beauty oil if you don't have a beauty oil you can even use a serum any serum of your choice is okay here I'm using a land spare serum so what you can do is just take few drops of your serum and then mix it with your foundation really well and then apply your foundation on your face so this gives a nice moist look and then your skin is like really soft and your more face does not look overdone you know overdone with makeup or foundation or concealer so this really helps and it works guys so let's move on to the next tip so the next tip is when you apply your matte lipsticks okay like here um, I have this Kylie matte lipstick which I have already applied I have applied a really light shade today so I have a set of Kylie lip shades which are like really stubborn lipstick I would say they do all day long they stay on your lips 
if you're having your lunch or dinner this lipstick won't go away so what you can do is I have a trick here to remove this lipstick like really easy so I'm going to apply this is a matte lipstick and matte lipstick really stays for long and they don't go away so easily okay and you can see there is nothing coming out on the tissue okay so now what you need to do is take Vaseline and I'm just taking a bit okay my finger and then I'm trying to rub it on the lipstick and you can see all the lipstick is coming out so easily and it's all on my finger here and then take a tissue paper and then just rub it off and you see all the matte lipstick is all on your tissue paper and your hand is clean so this is this really works guys so you have to try this and let's move on to the next step so the next step is uh, when you don't have to buy really expensive uh, baking powders which are like banana baking powders and there are a few as well so what you can use is Johnson baby Johnson baby powder is really useful for under eye baking or on your highlighted areas so what you do is once you apply your foundation and your concealer then you just apply a thick coat of Johnson baby powder under your eyes so this is the general part where you try to bake your eyes so and then you do other makeup on your face so like you complete your eyes you complete your lips everything and once you're done with that what you can do is you can just brush out the extra powder and then you'll see your eyes your under eyes are baked really well okay it almost covers all your dark circles and any type of blemishes that you have under your eyes okay so let's move on to the next step so the last and final tip is when you apply your foundation and you feel that uh, it's overly done or is it's looking very oily what you can do is you take a tissue paper and you see always a tissue paper has two sheets okay two plies it's called as two ply sheet okay so what you can do is you try to separate these two okay you try to separate the tissue paper and just take one ply sheet and then try to press it on your skin something like this okay and I'm not sure if you can see the makeup the extra makeup on this in the camera but I can uh, see here because uh, I haven't done this while applying my makeup because I wanted to do it on the camera so you can see all the extra makeup extra product and the oiliness of your skin is on this tissue paper okay and it gives a really flawless makeup on your skin so this is like really easy tip you can use it on the daily basis so these were my useful tips guys and i hope you like this video and give this video a big thumbs up and please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already and uh, hit that bell button on my screen which is under the screen here so that you get updates on my new upcoming videos and see you again in my next video till then take care bye bye